Two of the new city jerseys have been released, so let's talk about it. So when they all come out, I will give my rankings like I did last year, but let's talk about the two that we already know about. This Minnesota Timberwolves one is kind of the reason I'm making this video because it is fire. Like, everything about this jersey, I love. This is the best city jersey. Ugh. Maybe not. Oh, it's hard because, you know, the purple one, the purple city jersey they had a few years ago. That was when Derrick Rose was on the team. <laughs> I remember Derrick Rose was on that year. But those purple ones, oh, they were so beautiful. But these are just as beautiful. Like, it's a tie for first. I love these. I love the color. I love everything about these. Like, Minnesota, they know how to make some city jerseys. And you know why I love this even more? It's not just the jersey that is super nice. But their marketing team, their social media team, I don't know who made this page. I'm about to show you, but they need a raise. So I didn't put the big logo there. They did. Obviously, they're, you know, still not launched yet. So that's probably why they're preventing you from like seeing the full page, so to speak. But look at this social media page. I mean, it is beautiful. It is so aesthetically pleasing. It's just, it's very easy to navigate. It's user friendly. The photos are awesome. These photos, I love them, especially the one sitting in the chair. Like, they did this all right. That page was awesome. These jerseys are awesome. Shout out to the Minnesota Timberwolves. And the other jersey that was released was by the Nets. Now, the Nets actually released this back in April, and the Timberwolves just released this either this morning or yesterday. It was very recent for the Timberwolves, but this happened a couple of months ago, or I guess a few months ago at this point. If I'm being completely honest, I'm not the biggest fan of these jerseys. Like, again, I always say this in all these kind of ranking videos that, like, you can't please everybody. And to somebody else, these jerseys are fire. So, like, take it with a grain of salt, of course, because this is my opinion. I'm just not a fan of the pattern, the colors going together. Like, I think it's kind of supposed to be more like abstract art, which is kind of what the Brooklyn Nets do in their city jerseys as of recently. So, like, with them trying to go with more abstract art, at least it seems like, I get what they were trying to do but it doesn't resonate with me personally. The letters of the word Nets, I don't hate that, but I don't think it goes with the design. Like, I feel like I would actually like those letters. Like, I don't mind those letters, but I feel like I would actually like them a lot more if it went with like a different design. Like, I don't know exactly what I would put, but I just feel like it doesn't coincide with the design. Cause like I said, the design to me is more abstract. Now maybe I should look into it more and do more research and learn more about the meaning behind it, but it just looks more like abstract art to me, and the lettering is more like, you know, cartoon graphic, you know, that kind of like bubbly letters, which I like bubbly letters, but I feel like that is like a different category than the design. Now, seeing them on a person probably will make it a little better because when it's on a person, sometimes it looks better than when it's just you know, hanging in the air. So we'll see how it looks when the players actually wear it. Maybe I'll like it better at that point. I did a video where I talked about the worst jerseys of all time. This is not one of them. So, you know, a silver lining here, if you're a Nets fan listening to this video and you feel disappointed by my ranking, <laughs> by saying it's not my favorite, trust me, that is not the worst jersey ever made. It's not even close. Like, if you go watch that video I did, you will see the jerseys that are in that video that I personally think are a lot worse. So not the worst, but just not my favorite. I personally wouldn't pick it as my top choice. But congratulations to the Nets and the Minnesota Timberwolves for being the first to release their city jerseys. I am excited to see the rest of them because it's always fun to look at them.